name there, but if it is not there by mistake, then remember that we are very thankful to all those who gave a hand. I would like to know why the expression goes to give a hand, because in Asi Nolario, they give both. <laughs> and sometimes even more than that. Well, this is Mayo giving a hand. He collects uh, banknotes from all over the world. If you need euros, go to him. He will be pleased to exchange coins or notes. Now, I would like to say something about the village. I know you all come from faraway places or close by places. All your places have a history. You may think that Ezilo is in the middle of nowhere. Not at all. Ezilo, if you look at the map, is between Rome and the north of Europe. It has always been a route. And now, of course, we have this exceptional internet connection, which is the new route to the world. But it is not a place where nothing happened in the past. If you like to join one of the guided visits organized by the students, please do. You will see we have fossils that are quite exceptional. We have remains of the Celtic and Roman periods. We have works of art, such as this beautiful street you have trodden to come here. Now, applying for Wikimania 2016 was crazy, was foolish, was bold. By the way, I know that Jimmy Wales speaks of failure as a route to success, but we cannot fail, we could not. So we really had to do our best to make it possible. And there were a few problems. The first of all was the road. Okay, we have done all we could. We got money from the Regione Lombardia, and we are very thankful, but they didn't manage to put it straight. So we have 12 kilometers of curves. By the way, the train is no better at the moment. We have a strike. So I would like to say to those who are going to Milan tonight, register at the info point desk. We may organize something like blah blah cars and help people to go back to their homes in Milan. The second big question, of course, was connection. Our mayor, who is bold and foolish and brave, decided that he didn't want wires flying over the electrical poles. He wanted everything to be buried and remain forever in Esinolario. Now, the next picture I don't understand, but my daughter Yolanda said, <laughs> everybody will. Well, even electricity was a little bit of a problem. <laughs> we had to go to every place and upgrade the system, but I think we managed. Another little problem were architectural barriers. So we started with a school, which is a priority, of course. But of course, a village in the mountain is an architectural barrier, or natural barrier, if you prefer. So that's why you will find a train going around, you will find electrical cars, you will find a few ways to go around, and also you will find 760 Ezinesi who will give a hand if you need to go somewhere by car. One of the big issues was also the former cinema. I have to tell you that Ezino has had a past of glamorous tourism. And we had a cinema, we had things going on every night, we had people dancing, music. But after a while, the offer was much larger and there were fewer people coming to Asia. You know, the poor cinema was turned into uh, a, a place for rubbish and, 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 and lorries and everything. And Yolanda said, we, we can't do that. We can do many things, but we can't do that. But thanks to the help of Fondazione Cariplo and some other 
people who helped, we decide to be bold again and to start working at it. That's the way it looks now. We are, we are very proud of it. We are in the very center of the regional park of the Grigne. It means a lot to have a nice room to host special events. So we are sure we're going to fill it, not only with you Wikipedians. Instead of renting another um, mobile structure, tensor structure, we decided it was better to place our money in things that would remain for the village. The museum too. I mean, that was the old, old museum and we loved it. So we are a little bit, bit sorry that it was changed. But of course, it, it belonged to the past, to the 60s. So we decided it to empty it all, fill the museum that was, had been ready for quite a few years but was still empty, fill in the new museum with the things we had to show to the public, and there you are. We have a new room there for conferences. I suppose you have all seen Villa Clotilde. It is the headquarters of journalists. It is the headquarter for people who need special information. It looked pretty like an old dignified lady. But uh, thanks God you haven't seen the cellar, which has been cleaned of lots of rubbish we had kept for decades. You are now in the gym. Okay, the gym is a place to train the body and today it is to train the mind. I think both are important, but if you look at the tunnel down there, it was built for you, for your safety. <laughs> so was the ugly stairs. You can see there, that too was built for your safety. Now, I would like to say that in Ezino, people work, work, and sometimes work miracles. You may see a few new park lots built by volunteers. Fabio, the vice uh, mayor of Ezino Lario, with a group of people he calls my boys, hmm, built areas, repaired areas, built the tensor structure, and worked miracles. That's not all. Now we have, spoken, we have spoken about infrastructures, about buildings, but I would like to say that there is also some other kind of preparation. The English course was very popular in the press. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure everybody in the village can say welcome, have a nice day, good morning, and this for us was quite important. It was a way to show that we were to be ready, but not only with structures. Of course, we had lots of meetings. People said, what is Wikipedia, Wikimania, Wiki? Even to learn the word and know what it meant took a few weeks, but we had lots of meetings. We also had lots of informal meetings. You can see Marta here, you can see Serena, you can't see Patricia, she doesn't like photographs but they have spent evenings on end working at the problem of accommodation. And I hope you are all happy because this was a solution we didn't want to offer. <laughs> now, of course, that was not all. People said, you are going to serve coffee, you are going to serve snacks, you have to learn the health and uh, safety regulations. So we even had lessons about how to deal with food. You are safe. <laughs> then, of course, stress was sort of increasing, the pressure was high, and the meetings, instead of being every two weeks, began, began being every week, every two, three days. And uh, there is one thing I would like to tell you. We did a lot for the schools. We went with the Dario Crespi, you can see here, to at least 15, 20 schools in order to teach what Wikipedia is, how to edit entries, how to become a Wikipedian. 
the schools. The schools were offered a competition, there would be prizes, but they also offered volunteers. You have seen young people around, there are about a hundred, and they all volunteer in order to give a hand. You have seen them at Malpensa. They were here under the guide of Elena, our mayor's wife. Then we had other people in Varenna, helping you find your bus. And then we had, we have about 20, 30 people from what we call Protezione Civile. But I thought you might enjoy a picture of young girls better. Now, the title they gave me for this very little talk was Impact on Asino. I think you know now. We have turned Asino into a new Asino. Many things have changed. But let's consider one thing. I mean, in London, there were 2,000 Wikipedians, but the population is 8 million. So it was, there was huge covering in the press. It was a very important event, but you couldn't see Wikipedians all over the place, could you? Mexico City is basically the same, eight million people again. And Wikipedians were very numerous, there were lots of them, but not even, I think hardly 0.1%. Now let's look at Esinolario. You have doubled the population of the village. <laughs> not only, not only have you doubled the population of Esino, but you have turned us all into Wikipedian volunteers. So I should say it's a hundred percent. And now, forgive me. I'm probably going to be a little bit impolite. I know you are exceptional people, and this is why we are proud to have you all here. This is why we worked for two years in order to have a beautiful event for you, because you deserve it. But there is one little thing that we can do better than you. So please listen. Esino. Can you please take a big breath, inhale, Exhale, breathe, listen to me, and repeat after me. Esino, esino. Okay, that was quite good. And since you have been very good, since, as Jimmy said, that's a big community, you are part of our community, we become part of ours, we have a present for you. We have a symbolic present for you, and I would like Jimmy to come and collect the present, the mayor of Esino, Pietro Pensa, the engineer who is responsible for everything, will offer him. You get the honorary citizenship of Esino for a week. And whenever you come back, please wear your T-shirt. And a friend of mine suggested blue jeans too. And you will be part of the village again.
Welcome, I am speaking in Italian. Questa è, non è la chiave di Esino, perché a Esino non ci sono porte. Esino è aperta e accogliente, come avrete notato. Questa è la chiave del cambiamento. Qua le cose cambiano, le abbiamo fatte cambiare e le abbiamo fatte cambiare per voi. As the mayor says, this is not exactly the key to Esino because in Esino there are no keys. <laughs> It is the key to change. You have offered the world the key to knowledge. It is the most generous and exceptional gift ever. So this is the key to change. The key to you. Uh, on, so on behalf of um, all the Wikimedians here, uh, we thank you very much. And, um, well, I, for one, am going to come back as often as I can. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. Can I shake hands with you? Yes, of course. I was looking forward to this <laughs> day. Hello everyone, uh, I am Ginevra, I've been the chair of the program committee, so if you don't like the program, it's my fault, but uh, I hope you like it because we work a lot and uh, I wanted to tell you how many emails I sent during the last year, but they were too many that not even my laptop could count them. We will, uh, <laughs> so it was just a lot of emails, so. so What is Wikimania in Esinolario? We talk about Wikipedia, we talk about Esinolario. Now, what happened when we combine these two things together? So, Wikimania is a tribal meeting. This is the conference of uh, the Wikimedia movement, so it's our conference. This year, Wikimedia, it's also an experiment because, as you might have noticed, we did things quite differently. And of course, it has been a challenge to do that. Katrina showed you how much they worked here and uh, they really did an amazing job, but of course it was not easy. And finally, it is a once in a year occasion, so take the most of it. So why are we here? We are here to share experiences, of course, to tell each other what we did during the last years, what we are going to do next, etc. To learn new things, of course, learn from others. So if the Wi-Fi goes down, please relax, talk to the person next to you and find out if he or she can teach you something you did not know. And then <laughs> when the Wi-Fi will start to work again, maybe you can add it to Wikipedia or to whatever you like. And finally, gain momentum. We know that Wikimania, it's a very special event for the movement because after Wikimania, people are so enthusiastic and uh, so refreshed, or at least this is what uh, I've been told by a lot of people and this is also what my experience has been. After Wikimania, you want to do everything, do a lot of things, so please do that. I'm going to talk a little bit again about the structure of the program because uh, one thing which is very important is that uh, you go when, where you really want to go because we think your time is very valuable. So the user digest presentation are the presentation will, which will be held here and they are presentation for newbies. So if you are an expert on uh, Wikimedia Commons and come here to the Wikimedia Commons presentation and then uh, complain because you already knew everything, it was because it was meant for be like that. If you are more expert, we advise you to go to the critical issue presentation, which are more, uh, which are insights on uh, problems or uh, possible vision for the movement, etc. And of course, we have the discussions and the trainings, which are amazing and uh, are a very good occasion to learn new things. 
but we also have uh, other kind of activities. Of course, there is the community village and the amazing evening program. There are a lot of uh, nice things happening at, uh, in the evening. So we hope that uh, it will be enough and uh, you will not miss too much the fun you could have in a big city because uh, you can have fun also in a small town. There are exhibitions in the conference venues. So there are some Wikilos monuments uh, exhibitions and uh, posters that you made and these kind of things. And finally, of course, there are the meetups. I've been told that uh, we have scheduled a lot of meetups, like really plenty of them. And uh, this is very cool that uh, you want to talk about and uh, keeping asking to have one more meetup and another one. And this is great. So how to enjoy Wikimania? We, we, everyone knows about the Wikipedia pillars, but what about the Wikimania pillars? The first pillar is collaboration. Everyone is part of the team. Me, the intern student volunteers, the people from ESINO, the WMF board, we are all on the same level here. We are all part of the team, and so we expect that everyone will behave as part of a team. So uh, this is also why we don't have special t-shirts for the volunteers, because uh, everyone is a volunteer here. The only thing we have to find out uh, if a person is in the organization or not are these uh, bands. And uh, since a lot of people ask me, I'm going to explain that the green uh, one is for people who are the, in the main organizing team. So if you have a difficult question, find someone with the green thing. The red thing are for the student uh, volunteers. We have plenty of high school students who are helping us. And uh, so if you have uh, uh, other kind of, of questions, you can ask them. Second, scalability. This is not an event. This is a format. We would like to see this replicated somewhere else. So if you want to have uh, a similar kind of event, please ask us for help because we will be really happy to help you set out something similar and tell you what went wrong and what was okay, etc. Third, we focus on uh, using things that uh, we already had. So we did not uh, Mm, try to have very fancy stuff and, uh, I don't know, sparkles all over the place and uh, shiny lights, etc. Because we, these kind of things were not here, so we just used what was here. And uh, we think this is very important because uh, uh, our planet, uh, it's us to keep and uh, we should really pay some more attention to how we behave. And uh, <laughs> thank you. So the fourth pillar, it's, uh, it appeals to a similar concept. What can last? So build things that uh, are going to stay there. So well, we fix the, a city. So this is going to last for sure. We did not, uh, we have some things for uh, rental, but uh, a lot of stuff were bring here and they're going to stay here. So Wikimania in Essinolario will have a concrete legacy on this town. And this is amazing, I think. This is our conference, but it is not just about us. It's also about other people. Finally, Experimenting and having fun. This is one of the most important uh, things. So we are here for uh, have fun, of course, and for learn new stuff. And again, try to go out uh, of your comfort zone this year. Try to learn new things. Try to do something you did not know you were interested in. Thanks. If you are a glam person, uh, go to some uh, Wikidata workshop. Or uh, if you like education programs, go to the Commons training. Learn new things. 
So what to do here? First, enjoy your staying in a scenario. It's very important to have uh, fresh air to breath and uh, a nice view, but of course it's not uh, just about, about that. So the second thing you should do is let your creativity flow. If you do not feel uh, enough inspired, look more for your inspiration because there are so many amazing people here and I'm sure that you will find someone who can inspire you. Finally, build something meaningful. One of our mottos was, since we are already here, let's get some work done. And uh, let's get some work done which can last also after this conference. So conclusion, because I don't know about you, but I'm starving at this time. So <laughs> some general, uh, uh, very practical remarks. First, always check the online programs because uh, as you might know, if you have been at uh, other conferences, there are always last minute changes. So please ch always check the online programs before going somewhere. So you will not get lost. And uh. Second, respect others. Do not uh, uh, feel entitled just because uh, you are a participant. So be nice to other people. Be nice to the volunteers, please. and. Uh, Take your rubbish. We are writing an encyclopedia. We can uh, surely pick some uh, glass of water and uh, throw it away. And third, stay positive. Don't panic. No drama. And uh, if you have a problem, it can be fixed. Jimmy explained to you about this uh, boot. So everything can be fixed. The important thing is to have uh, a positive attitude and uh, know that there are plenty of people here who are here to help you. And so let them help you and uh, yes, smile. So thank you. due slide e poi chiudo. Uh, we're very fast here, so we actually have 30 minutes of uh, uh, time. We expect to finish at 12. Anyway, I just wanted to um, show you two practical things. Uh, this is a map of Esinolario. If you wonder why the numbers are like this, uh, it's because uh, we decided to put numbers like in a hotel. So actually, the first number uh, defines uh, at which floor you are. <laughs> so it's the elevation of uh, Esinolario. So 71 will be your uh, restaurant centrale, uh, in which now we have a little train that will uh, take you there. And number 11 is the new hall uh, that you see at the beginning of the village. Um, so just to give a, a formal explanation how it goes. So if you are at... Uh, uh, 58, which uh, obviously is the 58 restaurant, uh, you might want uh, to, um, uh, you can recognize uh, uh, the direction in which you need to go uh, by looking at the first number. And uh, another practical information is uh, uh, we have an app, so maybe this is a moment that can be interesting uh, to use it. Okay, that's it. This is the end of our introduction. Thank you very much and uh, welcome to uh, Wikimania. We planned uh, some questions, uh, question and answer with uh, Jimmy Wales, also for the press, after the talk. Uh, so if somebody wants to leave now and uh, leave the room, otherwise you can stay. And uh, this was a, a moment of time for the journalist uh, to uh, ask maybe some question to uh, Jimmy Wales.